presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Jungle Jim relieved the saddened mind and heart of the Reverend Chalmers by assuring him that Lynn was alive and safe with Polo, while at that very moment she was calling for help in the jungle hideout. In the meantime, intrigued by the suggestion of Jack Laba that Jungle Jim was in love with Lynn Chalmers because she was so feminine, Shanghai Lil surprised the big French-Canadian by suddenly appearing in a dress instead of her usual riding breeches and boots. Before Laba had recovered from his astonishment, she ordered him to bring Jungle Jim to her and to leave them alone together. When Jim appeared before her, Shanghai Lil declared she wanted him to marry her. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue the story. Sitting languidly in her fan-backed wicker chair after making her audacious proposal of marriage, Shanghai Lil coolly gazes up at the open-mouthed Jungle Jim. Well, Jim, what's your answer? Why, I, I hardly know what to say. You know what I expect you to say. What do you mean? I expect you to say, yes, of course. Why do you want to marry me? One reason is because I'm fool enough to have fallen in love with you. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? Why not? Aren't you a handsome man? Haven't you broad shoulders, a slender waist, and strong, powerful arms? So is your friend Labat. Labat, <laughs> that animal. Nevertheless, he fits the same description you have applied to me. This hardly seems the time to joke. I never was more serious in my life, Jim. I've never met a man quite like you before. I used to dream that one day I'd meet my ideal. Then my illusions were broken one by one. And at last, I abandoned all hope of meeting anyone who could measure up to my expectations of the man I would call husband. And now I'm elected, eh? Yes, Jim. If I may remark in passing, you certainly have a peculiar way of showing your love for me. I have? Why? Didn't you turn me over to that ape man of yours to be tied to a post and whipped? Well, yes. Yes, I did. I'm sorry about that. You see, I'd promised Labar that he could have his revenge for the beating you gave him in a Flynn's cafe the day we met. So I had to keep my word. But that account is squared now. I want the two of you to become friends. I suppose Labar wants to bury the hatchet before he gets what I'm going to give him at the first opportunity. Listen, Jim, Labar is my overseer. You licked him once, now he's licked you. That evens up the score. Does it? Of course. Oh, come now, Jim. Don't pretend you're going to hold that against Labar or me. That remains to be seen. You said a few minutes ago that one reason you wanted to marry me was because you had fallen in love with me. Yes. That leads me to suspect that there must be some other reason behind your demand. Usually, in entering the state of matrimony, love is supposed to be the complete and only reason. That is my only real reason. Then why did you say it was one reason? Why, you picked me up on something that had no meaning, Jim. It was just a phrase. I spoke in generality. Are you sure that's all you meant? Certainly. Why all this third degree? Well, uh, maybe it's because I can't understand why you should suddenly find yourself in love with me. This is only the third or fourth time you've seen me. Evidently, you don't believe there's such a thing as love at first sight. I certainly don't. I've heard lots of folks pull that old bromide, but it doesn't fool me. There just ain't no such animal. That's what Lily de Vril thought, too, Jim. Until you came here. Apparently, that's your story, and you're going to try to stick me with it. How can you talk like that when a woman bears her heart to you as I have? All right, we'll skip that part of it. But you've got a mind as well as a heart. What's in that? I don't know what you mean. You never go in for anything unless it means some return for you. And romance wouldn't be any different as far as a woman like you is concerned. What could you get out of marrying me? That's what I want to know. Oh, you think I have an ulterior motive? I sure do. Well, if I was looking for one, I could easily find it. You see, Jim, most of the natives on this island have heard of you and are very fond of you. Go on. As the bat woman, I already have a good part of them under my thumb. Together we could rule this island, Jim. Oh, so that's it. You may not know it, but we could develop its resources very profitably. What do you say now, Jim? Just this. Listen to me, Shanghai Lil. You set yourself up as a goddess in the eyes of these poor, trusting people so that it would be easier for you to cheat them. Oh, Jim, you You're a crook think... and a murderer. Stop. I have no use for you. That's enough. Well, you, Goku, come here and take Jungle Jim back to his cell. Jim, we'll be married this evening. 
Dr. Chalmers will perform the ceremony. I don't think he will. I say he will if I have to torture the wedding service out of him. At that very moment, back at the hideout, Colo is giving chase to the black-skinned native who has grabbed Lynn Chalmers and started off through the bush. Stopping only to pick up his rifle, Colo goes crashing through the foliage and brush. Missy! Missy! With the powerful hand of her captor over her mouth, Lynn is unable to call out as she is dragged further and further into the bush. Hampered by his struggling prisoner, the native is unable to make speed. And in a moment, Colo comes within sight of them. But he is afraid to fire his rifle because his bullet may strike Lynn. Suddenly, the native sees Colo. Pulling the girl in front of him to form a shield, he fires at his pursuer. Colo disappears amid the foliage. As Lynn renews her struggles to get free from her captor, Colo works his way through the foliage to get a better angle of attack. Finally, he gets within range. Pointing his rifle into the air, he fires a shot to attract the attention of the native. Then he calls. Run, Missy! Run back to hideout! As Lynn breaks away from her captor, both the savage and Colo start shooting at each other. Suddenly, the savage pitches forward on his face. After making sure the man is dead, Colo calls. Missy! Missy! Him dead now. Missy! Here I am, Colo. Wait for Colo, Missy. Me shoot boy try to take you away. Colo, kill him. Good. I'm so afraid he killed you, Colo. No need. Be afraid, Missy. Colo know how to hide in bush. Oh, that was awful. He almost had me, Colo. I wonder where he was taking me. Him, one of that woman boys, Missy. Him take you to her. Are you sure? Me sure, Missy. See? Oh, what's that thing? Dead bat. Him wear round neck. All boys of bat woman wear bat tied round neck. Oh, horrible. Put it away, Colo. I don't want to see it anymore. Yes, see, Missy. Now, do you know what we're going to do? Go back. Hide out, Missy. No, we're not. We're going to find Juan Jim. Juan Jim say wait. We wait. Are you going to start that all over again? I listened to you before when I said we ought to follow Jim. So we stayed at the hideout and waited for his signal. And look what happened. Colu know this happens sometimes. Well, it's not going to happen again. No, Missy. Colu stay near you all time now. No leave hideout. We won't leave the hideout because we're not going back to it. This time you'll do as I say. It's foolish waiting for a signal. If Jim isn't in need of our help, he'd have said it long ago. Missy no understand. One Jim say him no make signal only when him need help. No signal, all good. Get signal, come quick, help. No matter what he said, Kolu, things aren't working out as he expected. We've given him plenty of time. Now we'll go on until we find him. Missy, how you get here? You mean in this place, here in the brush where we are now? Yes, he, Missy. Why, you know as well as I do. I was dragged here. Missy, go back, hide out, same way. Kolu, let go of me. Missy, yes. come with Kolu. Meanwhile, Jungle Jim has been taken back to the dungeon in which the Batwoman is keeping him and the Reverend Chalmers. So Shanghai Lil wants you to marry her, does she, Jim? She's going past that, Reverend. She's definitely made up her mind that you'll perform the ceremony. What? Yes, tonight. No, I shan't do it. You know I won't, Jim. Perhaps they'll make you change your mind. Oh, so she intends to use a little persuasion, does she? If you refuse, of yes. Of course I shall refuse. Now, hold on, Reverend. I know you're my friend. And as such, of course, you feel bound to defy our captors. But if you do, it's going to mean more torture. They tried to get an apology out of me, didn't they? Well, I refused, and they haven't got it yet. But you've got a blistered body. Oh. These devils are up to anything. I couldn't let you submit to any more suffering on my account. Listen to who's talking. You offered your life to free me. That was different, Reverend. I'm just a knockabout adventurer. I haven't any home, any family, and darn few friends. Oh, nonsense. What happens to me doesn't matter. But you've got a life of service to humanity. And you've got a daughter who needs a father. Jim... 
You may not have any family, nor any permanent home, but you've a great many friends. Everybody here in Malaysia knows and loves and respects Jungle Jim. They all say you're the squarest, fairest white man in the jungle country. I think it's worth anything I might have to go through to keep you free. Thanks, Reverend. But I couldn't let you get tortured for trying to help me out. So you aren't going to refuse to perform the ceremony. Jim, you don't mean you intend marrying her? Not of my own free will, I don't. Oh, thank heaven. For the moment, I was afraid that woman had got you under her spell. Lily de Vriel can be a tyrant when she wants to be. Judging from my last interview with her, and the way she was dressed in frills and flowing skirts, I guess she wants to be right now. She's a thoroughly bad woman, Jim. She's no scruples and no conscience. She was deported after she served ten years for killing a man. She's become a woman without a country. Well, she's planning on making Malaysia her country and herself queen. And now she wants you for her consort, eh? Yes. But I won't become Mr. DeVril while I have my senses. Good for you, Jim, and I'll stick with you on that. Reverend, the time has come to give Kolo the signal. Yes, I think you're right. We must find a chance to do it before tonight. <laughs> Up at the plantation house, Shanghai Lil is making a few plans of her own. Mamba hasn't come back yet, Lava? No, Lily. That black rascal won't come back yet. I'll tip the hide off him when he does. By God, that's too hard work for a beautiful woman like you. Better you let Jacques Lava do that. All right, you can do it then, but see that it's a good job. You leave everything to gentle Jacques, eh, Lily? Abba, I want you to get some hibiscus flowers and orchids and decorate this room this afternoon. You're going for a gift party? Well, yes, in a way. I want this place to look like a tropical garden. Everything must be fixed up as beautiful as possible. Why, girl, you're so beautiful, Lily. It will be hard to make room seem beautiful beside you. <laughs> You're breaking my heart, Laba. <laughs> Such compliments. I wish somebody else would pay them to me. What you mean? Everybody thinks you're the most beautiful woman in the whole world. Well, I know at least one person who doesn't. But never mind that. You see to it that this room is fixed up by tonight. May we? And see that Jungle Jim has some new clothes. An eraser. He might like to get cleaned up before the ceremony. What, that ceremony? Well, yes. What you mean, Lil? Well, you see, Laba, I'm going to marry Jungle Jim tonight. Lily. And you're going to be the best man. Besides, I may need you to see that the Reverend Chalmers performs the ceremony. Jacques Laba, the best man. By God, that good joke. Well, I'm going to get ready for my wedding. And by the way, Laba, maybe you'd like to use that razor before you give it to Jungle Jim. You certainly could send it. So, she wants for to marry with Jungle Jim, eh? I have helped her all this time. And why? Because I love her. Sacre bleu. Now Lily thinks she throw me aside like one old shoe, huh? By God, I saw her. Can Shanghai Lil force Jungle Jim to marry her before the proposed signal to Kolo brings help and possibly rescue for Jim and the Reverend Chalmers? You have just heard a dramatization of the exciting adventures of Jungle Jim, who appears in full-color action pictures each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, which is distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. In addition to Jungle Jim, you will also find many other famous characters of the world of pictures. The Cats and Yammer Kid, Barney Google, Tuts and Casper, Flash Gordon, and the Little King. A new group of colored poster stamps to add to your present collection will be found in the next issue of the Comic Weekly. Don't forget our date at the same time next week for a continuation of the exciting adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.